am going to take you through some take home messages and clinical pearls, hopefully cover a few things that were not covered. I'm gonna go over some topics in diabetes, thyroid, adrenal, pituitary, and hypoglycemia. So here's case one. This is a 54-year-old man who presents to you for follow-up of type 2 diabetes, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and obesity with a BMI of 44. Six months ago, you added citagliptin to metformin and glipizide because of a hemoglobin A1C of 8.2%, not optimal. His A1C did improve to 7.6%, but he really wants help with, with uh, weight loss, but refuses to consider bariatric surgery. In addition to prescribing a diet and exercise program, you plan to switch from citagliptin, which is Genuvia, to liraglutide, which is Saxenda, 3.0 milligrams daily to help him lose weight. His current diabetes medications in summary then are metformin, 1,000 milligrams twice daily with meals, glipizide, 5 milligrams twice daily with meals, citagliptin, 100 milligrams once a day, which you're going to stop and switch to liraglutide, 3 milligrams daily to help with weight loss and diabetes control. So if you make no other medication changes after switching to liraglutide, what is the patient at greatest risk for? A, rhabdomyolysis, B, hypotension, C, hypoglycemia, D, hypertriglyceridemia, or E, hyperkalemia. Does anyone want to shout out a letter? Okay, so uh, for sake of time, the answer is hypoglycemia. And this is part of the use, understanding the use of GLP-1 agonists, um, such as liraglutide. Typically, liraglutide is used at a dose of 1.8 milligrams daily, which is its uh, standard doses, dosage for improving glycemic control in type 2 diabetes. But it is approved for weight loss at a dose that's higher, three milligrams daily, as an adjunct to diet and exercise in people with diabetes. However, in patients who are already on glucose-lowering medications, particularly um, where there is a risk of uh, hypoglycemia, that hypoglycemic risk will be greatly enhanced when you put add liraglutide three milligrams. And this has been shown in studies. So uh, for example, hypoglycemic risk was 25% uh, when metformin or pioglitazone were uh, involved, but 43% when there was a sulfonylurea plus liraglutide three milligrams. So um, you've gotta be aware of this. And the take home message here is if you're gonna start high dose GLP-1, uh, particularly liraglutide, which is approved for this to help in weight loss, you need to reduce the sulfonylurea by 50% or actually stop it completely um, when starting this. And, and tell your patient to check their sugars and be aware of hypoglycemic risk. Mm -hmm.